Yo, Sin. Welcome back today, you guys. And today, we're on our day six and seven on our mission up to 50,000 dice. And before we hop into it, I'm going to give a mention to our Facebook group and our Discord. The Facebook is the Monopoly Elites group. I'm going to put a link in the description below. And our Discord is the Yo, Sin Discord. I'm also going to put a link in the description below. And if you want to be part of those, make sure that you guys go join those because we got tons of cool stuff, especially like in the Discord. We got like a trader score option to where if someone's like making a lot of trades, you can go ahead and give them points to show their legitimacy and show that they're good traders and make sure that you're making good trades with legit people and doing all sorts of cool stuff like that so just make sure if you guys want to be in that you guys go on down and hit the link and now we're hopping into our day six and seven of our challenge and this time we make a ton of progress as you can see here at the beginning of every day make sure that you're getting your free daily dice from those websites and all that good stuff and then what i noticed here this is the first time i was able to experience a full hour of the builder um i forget what that event is called where all your uh where all your properties are on sale that's been massive absolutely massive for xp and what you're gonna see this first time around is i think i actually played for like maybe real time maybe 20 30 35 minutes and i got a bunch of cash using airplane mode and with this builder mode i got so much xp my fingers hurt after i was done it was it was amazing got so much xp so much money from that so many upgrades from that and it was just such an unexpected bonus i normally do not play around you know the builder's bonus you know i'll play it with the high roller i'll play with color boost and sticker boom i'll play with specific things i'll like target so i can make sure that i get big bonuses well i've never used the builder bonus this much and it was huge it paid off and i'll definitely be doing it again because what you're gonna see here it's crazy i've thought that i've upgraded and got a lot of xp in one sitting before oh my goodness i think just within this first this first little segment of the video i think i got like 1300 xp just with this money that you see i'm earning now and you see that i'm going haywire with the building already and I've been getting real lucky with the, the tournaments and stuff as well, making sure that I'm always winning first place, making sure that I'm completing as many sets as I possibly can there, you see. I think within this video, I finished like three, maybe even four sets of cards as well. So it's it's been going swell. And as you know, every shutdown I get, it's a risk because I don't have a free target to hit. I don't have any friends on this account. I'm not, I don't have any help at all. On top of the fact that every time I completed, um, a pack of cards it's so hard because you have to get all the specific cards with no trades especially you know the way that i'm doing it so it's, it's been it's been a nice reward this these next two i get a big big chunk and i just got real lucky to be honest And with the way that the game was going to with the builder bonus the color wheel boost the goal that you know with everything going all at once it's it was just massive i didn't even realize how nicely i was setting myself up it was bonkers i highly suggest to make sure that you're playing around those builder bonuses because i did not know it was going to be like that and this part of the footage is an actual real life hour of me just spending all that cash on the builder's bonus and i just got i think it was 1300 xp and it took a real life hour to level up through all of that and i went until my fingers hurt after i words like they need to put an upgrade all button am i right <laughs> but uh that's that was it for the rest of that segment of that day man finally done with all the upgrading now we're diving in here and this time when i was playing the the events didn't match up there was a pickup event and then you know the railroad of tournaments obviously and i was really trying to make it work and make it as profitable as i could but i only got a few hits until i got to a point where no matter which thing i hit railroad or uh the pickups it wasn't going to be profitable to me i was going to spend my 100 dice and i wasn't going to get 100 dice in return so it just got to a point where it wasn't even worth playing so then at that point, of course, I did not I did not continue to play. I just stopped to make sure I wasn't going to make any mistakes because I am accident prone and I'm going to make the mistake. And you can also see as a partner event was going on, 
but I, you know, I didn't have any friends. So I only had the random people that I tried to invite, but no one accepted it at the time. So I just didn't have any, just didn't have anybody to partner with or anything when that doesn't matter to me because I didn't have any friends and I didn't expect it to help me anyways. So it's just another big thing though, you know, normally I can get a big chunk of dice from the partner event and I just, I missed out on that on top of the fact that the events didn't match up. So I think at the end of this little segment of me playing, I think I only gained like a thousand dice. And then, like I said, I got to the point where it wasn't going to be worth it. So I immediately just called it. You're going to see here, I think I end up with like 37, about 37 and a half thousand. You can see I, I sat here. This is fast forwarded footage and it was a full probably 20, 30 minutes in real life time. And it just did not, you know, you know, I did get a thousand dice, but it didn't do what I wanted it to do. And now we're, we're diving into right when the events reset. So then now the events are matching up again. This was right when the events reset. Cause like I said, I stopped playing that and I waited those few hours till it reset. And now when they matched up here, this is when we start getting our more bigger hits again. I think here is when I complete three or four more sets of cards which is, I, you know, I hate to sound like a broken record, but man, it feels nice when you have nobody sending you cards. I'm so used to being able to trade to finish sets and oh my God, it's so tedious without it. Especially having like the gold blitz going on and I'm not allowed to trade on the, you know, cause I'm trying to do it all solo. Oh man. But then here you can see too, we're already sitting around 3,100 XP. We're doing incredible and we still have much room to go. There goes the first set of cards in our nice new little shield. And again, those shutdowns, man, they are so risky when you don't have anybody. To, I'm so used to having somebody I can hit that I know doesn't have shields. So it's, I'm so confident when I can do shutdowns normally. And on this account, I'm not confident at all. And it's scary because I put all this dice into hitting a railroad. And then if I hit a shielded target, I'm only going to get half the points and I might not even get what I'm supposed to get, you know, so it's even rougher sometimes. But luckily enough, I do pretty good guessing. The sticker booms were also huge. You love to see a sticker boom. Once again, getting lucky with the tournament right now. First place on this one, completing another set of cards. You can see there's only a few hours left in the tournament. I made sure that I went hard at the end so I can get that good reward. At the end of all that, at the end of our day seven, we ended up with 3,648 XP and 45,513 dice. So we are very well on our way to 50K. We probably only got one more episode left in this series. So it's probably gonna take under like 10 play sessions to hit the 50K. So that's still cool. I know that, uh, you know, I've been a little bit busy and it, you know, the videos haven't came out as fast as I want them to, but this is still very easily showing how easy it would be to build up 50,000 with an account that has absolutely no ties, no friends, no trades, no anything. And remember if any of this stuff helped you guys out remember to go on down give us a like and a sub and check out all of our links in the descriptions for our discord facebook merch all that good stuff and yosin out